My name is Blaine Herman and this is the agenda. It's the last day of November 2019. Can you believe it? Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Charles Msomi will have all your sporting details over the next three hours. What do you say? Let's get the program started. The first hour of the agenda starts right now. So breaking news on the agenda's watch. Members of the Twane Mayoral Co uh, Committee and PR councillor Sheila Senkabuke has tendered her resignation with immediate effect. She was MMC from 2016 up until yesterday, we understand. An audio recording of Senkabuke and executive mayor of the city of Twane, Stevens Mokhalapa, surfaced recently. You know, the content suggested that Senkabuke and Mokhalapa discussed colleagues and were allegedly intimate inside a municipal office. Let's get... More on the story. Let me bring in DA's Gauteng leader, John Moody. He joins us now on the line. John, a very good morning to you. Uh, so let me first ask you, did the DA force Sheila Senkabuche to resign or did she do so voluntarily? She did so voluntarily. So what happens now, uh, John? Who takes over as MMC for roads and transport? Well, let me just explain quickly. Um, the vacancy will be declared by the IC and the chief work of the DA is already busy dealing with that aspect. Once the vacancy is declared from a DA perspective, we will hold that position because it is a proportional list uh, position um, according to our nomination regulations. The mayor, um, after consultation with the party, will then elect a new uh, MMC for transport in the city of Tuane. All right. So that is very important uh, for our viewers to get an understanding of the process because it affects residents of Tswane. Let me get to the point of you as the DA accepting this resignation. Well, uh, in, we do accept it. Um, Sheila has also indicated in the letter that she's doing it as a matter of principle. Um, there are people out to vilify her, and she thinks it's in the best interest of the people in Batupile that as a public representative um, being embroiled in such um, serious allegations, mm. uh, which she denies, it, it is best for her to step aside and allow the um, service delivery not to be negatively impacted by um, her continuing in office. Well, that's, that's the important part, the service delivery issues. Uh, as we've been stressing, it, it affects the residents of Tswane. What does her resigning mean for that portfolio, though? Well, look, you know, she has also in her resignation letter put out a whole statement and a, a, a chronological um, point-by-point point successes that has been achieved by her department under her leadership. So um, it is indeed a very important portfolio, but um, I can assure the people of Chuane that uh, that position will be filled as soon as possible and that uh, we will ensure that there is no negative impact upon service delivery in, in Chuane. Mr. Moody, is the DA embarrassed by the saga? You know, we're involved in politics. And um, these are things that crops up. This is an alleged type of sexual impropriety, um, et cetera, illegally obtained in, the, in another instance. We don't condone the fact that um, the mayor was allegedly uh, discussing confidential information with the NMC. Mm. But we mitigate against it. And the fact that uh, we have in immediately initiated an investigation into the matter from a party perspective and also uh, through the ethics committee within council means that we take all such allegations as very serious and um, the other thing is that of course it shows you the how important this matter is for sheila that she has resigned without us needing to still go through the whole process of investigation especially with this last incident regarding uh, so-called uh, being illegally on the voters roll, while she, at that moment, in 2016, when she had registered the vote, was just a, a naturalized uh, South African citizen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all those things, and she's just felt it's in the best interest of the party, herself, and of course, more so importantly, as per her resignation letter, 
the people of Chwane say she's been to side. So, Ms. Wood, give us some clarity with regards to Mayor Stevens Mohalapa. We understand that his special leave was withdrawn during a council sitting. What's, what's the latest with regards to that? Well, you must remember that's a technicality. Um, the opposition questioned his leave because of the fact that there wasn't a return date. And it was a technicality because... In effect, that means it has been just, was it just a leave application for the city or was it a leave application for longer than that? You have a 72 hour turnaround time to correct any sub submission of leave, which was complied with. And uh, Stevens Mokhalapa is on leave. Yeah. And um, the acting mayor is Councillor Abel Tom. So you have an acting mayor in. You have an MMC that has just resigned. Is the city of Tswana in, in crisis? Not at all. Not at all. Remember that you also have MMCs, the executives, for example, even in, in Parliament, that would go on, on either leave or they go on overseas um, study tours, etc. All you do is you ensure that another MMC takes over the responsibility to oversee that portfolio politically. Um, for that period of time. Yeah, it does not put any municipality or, in this instance, 20 under any crisis at all. Mayor Mokhalapa reportedly said that uh, he was being blackmailed with an audio recording leaked to the public. This is, you would agree, a serious concern. If true, is this being investigated? Yes. Uh, last week and Sunday, he went and made charges at the Brooklyn Police Station as well as with the books, and he has evidence they are in terms of WhatsApp messages, SMS messages, messages and other correspondence. Mm. Mr. Bodhi, I just want to get a sense of what this actually means for the party. The DA didn't fare as well as you would uh, want it to in the general elections, you would agree. You've lost Musi Maimane, Atal Trollop, uh, who resigned as federal chair. You lost Herman Mashaba. And as we know, Mashaba didn't go quietly. Where does this leave the party? Well, you know what? We're a political organization, and any big organization such as ours, um, we expect such things to happen. It is unfortunate. But when it happens, you mitigate against um, damage. And uh, we prod on. And I can assure you that uh, there is no internal rupture within the party. Not at all. This gives us an opportunity to, 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 to draw ourselves back to ourselves, to, to reestablish where it is that we have gone wrong, and um, for us to continue moving forward. We don't see this as a crisis situation that's going to cause the party to implode. Not at all. But in this is an opportunity for us to renew and to, uh, and to refresh and to move on. Well, in, in, in trotting on, as you say, is it time for the party now, at this stage, to take some risks and, and, and try to be, become, I guess, a, a more effective and coherent unit? I don't understand what you mean by risk, but the thing is that we mitigate against any risk. But we can only control the things that we, do con we are in control of. Right. And we are in control of the party. And we will do everything within our means in terms of our rules and regulations as well as our constitution to hold all our public representatives to account. And, uh, uh, you know, we always expect the highest of integrity from our members and most of our public representatives. And we will never shy away from doing so. So with the DA holding on to Cape Town, Johannesburg and Swane for now, your party would hope that it... I guess sends the signal to the voter that you can be a party of government. What will it mean if you lose two out of the three in the eyes of the voters, do you think? Well, I think the voters need to consider not just the fact that, you know, that, that we lose two of these municipalities, what it would mean to the voters themselves and also the citizens of Johannesburg and Tuane, but more so importantly, what it would mean to South Africa, because these two cities of extreme importance to us as a nation, both the, uh, the political as well as economic hubs and capitals of our, of our country. And I can assure you that internationally, uh, people are looking at political stability, they're looking at policy surety, our economy is in the doldrums, uh, shrinking economy, unemployment rising. 
this does not look good for South Africa overall because ultimately investors look at political stability. So we are, of course, concerned. But as I said, we can only be in control of the things that we can control. At the end of the day, the kingmakers in both instances are the, the EFF. And, of course, they uh, ultimately um, are going to be the ones that will either ensure that there continues to be DA-led administrations or whether these two cities will be subjected to the same mismanagement and corruption and ongoing pillage as is happening now in Nelson Mandela Bay. No doubt we will be keeping a close eye on developments in Gauteng. Uh, John Moody, thank you. DA's uh, Gauteng leader, John Moody there.